We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that ancient microbes may help us to find extraterrestrial life forms. Beneath the cool embrace of bygone waves you grew, not gasping, but rather searching for air your signature revolving in the shifting pigments of your many-coloured coat, blues and greens transformed to yellows, pinks and reds, peripheries tinged with purple as we turn our gaze to the stars. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Molecular Biology and Evolution, which has shown how imagining early Earth as a different planet can help us search for alien life. As Earth's atmosphere first developed, it was rich in methane, ammonia and water vapour, but lacking in oxygen. As such, whilst life probably began in the ocean at least 3.5 billion years ago, it was in the form of simple microorganisms that existed anaerobically, i.e. without oxygen. It took hundreds of millions of years for enough oxygen to build up in the atmosphere and ocean, which in turn led to the development of the more complex life we observe today. Understanding what life was like for some of Earth's earliest microorganisms can thereby help us to better understand the evolution of our planet. Doing so can also provide us with clues for what signs of life might look like on other planets, whose atmospheres may more closely resemble that of our pre-oxygen Earth. These early microbes are known to have evolved something called rhodopsins, a special type of protein related to the rods and cones in human eyes and which possess the ability to turn sunlight into energy. This energy can in turn be used to power cellular processes such as repair and replication and early microorganisms used this to harness the power of the sun without the complex biomolecules that are required for photosynthesis. Using machine learning researchers in this study have now analysed rhodopsin protein sequences from all over the world and tracked how they evolved over time, creating a family tree that has enabled them to reconstruct rhodopsins from 2.5 to 4 billion years ago and the likely conditions that they encountered. Understanding how and why these rhodopsin processing microorganisms have changed over both time and environment will in turn help us to better recognise what life might look like on planets that most closely resemble the Earth of a distant past rather than how it appears to us today. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Beneath the cool embrace of bygone waves you grew, not gasping, but rather searching for air, your signature revolving in the shifting pigments of your many-coloured coat, blues and greens transformed to yellows, pinks and reds, peripheries tinged with purple, as we turn our gaze to the stars. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading The Colours of Ageing by Peter Boyle. Peter Boyle is an Australian poet and translator who was born in Melbourne in 1951. He earned an honours degree in English from Sydney University, as well as a Diploma of Education and an MA in Spanish and Latin American Studies. 
In 2020, he completed his Doctor in Creative Arts at Western Sydney University. Boyle's poetry collections include Coming Home from the World, published in 1994, and Enfolded in the Winds of a Great Darkness, published in 2019, alongside many translations of French and Spanish poets, including Federico Garcia Lorca, César Vallejo, Luis Canuda, and Pierre Reverdy. Boyle's awards include a New South Wales Premier's Literary Award, a National Book Council Banjo Award, and a South Australian Festival Award for Poetry. The Colours of Ageing by Peter Boyle. The avocados in autumn age under black skins, their green smell like mossy stones under a waterfall. In the kitchen, reach out and touch the smooth slime. In my country, we eat them with ice cream or tin sweetened milk. My father in his workday singlet would leave his portion for me and go out to be alone with the chooks. In the floral nightdress she wore all day till the sun bleached the red from the roses, my mother is fussing and flailing. Afraid of her hard hand, we rush out, my brothers and me, to hide under the palm trees as the first rains come down. All that was long ago. The trees grow now in a different autumn. Seen through winter frost, a lone palm rises out of excavated earth. Derelict walls turn their backs on the sun, and I age under this skin of woven cloth. The cicadas along the riverbank find nothing except the black sleeves of their discarded livery. Their shrill moan traces in evening air all that was green. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.